These are some things I learnt in pregnancy that I didn't know about beforehand. Firstly, you may not show for a very long time. I think falling pregnant, I expected to have a baby bump straight away and I didn't start to show until nearly 30 weeks. And from that 30 week mark onwards, it was like zero to 100. <laughs> There are so many appointments. There are doctor's appointments, ultrasounds, midwives, obstetrics, blood tests, and I had an issue in my pregnancy, so I had extra hospital appointments and extra ultrasounds as well. So brace yourself for all the appointments. My midwife told me that most babies will not be in the birth position until the last couple of weeks. So if your baby is upside down, breech, transverse, anything like that, most babies move during pregnancy and they don't move until the last couple of weeks. You can ask to sit in your car at your gestational diabetes appointment. That one goes for three hours. You have to get three blood tests and you're not allowed to leave the venue or eat anything. But sitting in my car with my aircon on, seat back, watching a movie was far more comfortable than sitting in a little plastic chair in the venue for three hours. Stay on top of your iron. Um, I felt really fainty and dizzy during my pregnancy and I struggled to work out because of it. And right before I gave birth, the hospital checked my iron levels and they were severely low and I had to get a bunch of iron infusions at the hospital. So I think if I had been on top of my iron during pregnancy and knew it was low, I would have felt a lot better throughout my pregnancy. This is a little tip for collecting colostrum. So rather than just using a syringe to collect it straight away, express your colostrum onto a sterilized spoon and then use the syringe to draw it up from the spoon and store it. If you are mixed feeding, your period will most likely come back a lot sooner than if you are exclusively breastfeeding. I didn't know that, so. You have to pay for pregnancy ultrasounds yourself. Most things in pregnancy are covered, but ultrasounds are not. Make sure you start taking your pregnancy vitamins straight away. It is so important for the little baby. You still bleed like crazy after you give birth, even if you have a cesarean. And lastly, make sure you pack lots of nappies and wipes in your hospital bag or pop them in the car because the hospital does not supply nappies. And if you're there for a few days or have a cesarean, you're gonna need a few.